paper boy news here to deliver y'all that final and daily report now snoopy badass been seeing what's going on lately on social media involving brick baby and he talked about it so let's talk about it now snoopy badass said he's been noticing a lot of weird activities been going on on social media lately and he said the only reason he's been kicking back and not speaking on it is because he said unlike all of them he's really outside that's when snoopy badass said over the past few months he's been watching social media he came to the conclusion in his own opinion that everybody is afraid of dw flame and snoopy badass said he's gonna cover that topic but before he does he got a couple of things to clear out the way that's when snoopy turned biblical and said when god does certain things he does it for a reason and when you go against everything god has planned for you he then makes it hard for you that's when snoopy said if you can recall that time when he went up to no jumper to do that interview with brick baby and them he said brick baby cussed him and he blooded him and that was it end of discussion no hard feelings and snoopy said as soon as he left the building after the interview was over with Break Baby let the haters get to his head. That's when Snoopy said Break Baby changed on him. And he said when he did that, that's when he allowed Satan to get in his head and basically take control of him. And Snoopy said, I don't think you guys know this, but Break Baby's on the verge of losing everything. And Wack 100 having a good relationship pause with Adam 22 and the No Jumper staff, he hired DW Flame purposely to go up there and basically get rid of Break Baby from working there. And Snoopy said the same people that said he's wrong for blooding Brick Baby is trying to sweep what DW Flame referred to a cigarette to Brick Baby disrespecting his gang under the rug. That's when Snoopy said, if y'all scared of DW Flame, just say it. No need to hide it. And Snoopy said, whack bringing DW Flame into the game was a chess move because he knew all his crip haters didn't want any smoke with DW Flame. He said, and the problem with this genre is the people that have the big platforms, they're talentless, they can't rap, and they only getting views off of hating off of other people. That's when Snoopy was sympathetic towards Brick Baby and said, why is everybody that said that they was friends with Brick Baby trying to go against him over that DW Flame situation? The same amount of energy that they're giving towards Break Baby for not doing anything, they should be matching that energy with DW Flame for actually saying it on a big platform such as No Jumper. And Snoopy said he knows the answer as to why they didn't approach DW Flame with that energy is because according to Snoopy Badass, they terrified of him. And Snoopy said DW Flame knew he was out of pocket when he asked Break Baby for a cigarette referring it to that, but he said Wack 100 was the reason for it and he made DW Flame say it. And he said the fact that all of the common denominator to all of them is they have issues with Wack. They should be having the same issue with DW Flame because he works for Wack. And Snoopy said even though he don't like Break Baby, he said Break Baby straight up got set up. And Snoopy said he didn't like it because he felt as though DW Flame was trying to be a bully. But at the same time, Snoopy said that was the same situation between him and Brick Baby and Brick Baby allowing other people as well as people down in the comment section to make him switch up and not like Snoopy Badass anymore. That's when Snoopy said Wack is a master manipulator and as far as Adam 22, even though he's cool with him, he needs to stop acting like he's so stupid and doesn't know what's going on around him just because he wasn't raised in that environment. And Snoopy said although Adam 22 is the boss of No Jumper, Wack 100 is the one running all the plays and he said break baby's in a dangerous position because he don't like whack 100 and whack 100 already don't like him either so he gonna make it hard for him every single day that he works up there and snoopy said real street guys gonna leave street issues off the internet because as they all know you know the police watch everything and you calling somebody out and basically feuding with them for months and maybe even years and then something happens to him you're gonna be the first person that they investigate and snoopy said the same people that's putting out all these allegations on other people they need to be reciprocal meaning that when the shoe's on the other foot and the allegations is on them they shouldn't be so butthurt 
because they did that to other people. And Snoopy said, as far as people picking and choosing their battles, to him that's zesty. And he said, if you're gonna go at somebody, you gotta you gotta be prepared to go at everybody with the same energy. You know, Snoopy dropped a solid discussion on this one, and it's crazy how he's willing to sit down with Brick Baby and settle their differences and potentially working on their brand, you know, a clothing brand. And like I said, at the end of the day, everybody should just focus on money. And if it's content, let's just keep it content. And whatever's on social social media let's just leave it there none needs to leak out into the streets because at the end of the day we all grown and trying to feed our families but y'all like share and subscribe to the channel it's paperboy news stand y'all be safe and stay dangerous out there go